G'day, Troy here from the Travelling Coffee family. We're in northwest Queensland uh, on the side of the Gregory River, uh, just about 20 kilometres south of the township Gregory River, uh, not far from Lawn Hill National Park and about three and a half hours or so out of Mount Isa. You can check out our other video that we'll be putting up on this free camp. It's an awesome spot. We've had a great three nights here. Yeah, highly recommend it. So watch out for that other video as well. But today we're just here to brew some coffee. All right, so first things first, we're just gonna get started heating up some water in our jet boil. We've got some cold filtered water here. Trinity Coffee is a really simple, easy brewer. Hence why we love to take it off-road and use it out and about in the van. So we've just lit that up there, super fast. We'll have boiled water in under 30 seconds. While that's getting ready, I'll show you the Trinity Coffee Zero. All it is is a simple brewer, it fits right in the palm of my hand. It pulls apart into three separate chambers. We've got our dosing chamber or our basket or holder, similar to that found in the AeroPress. We've got like our brewing chamber here and then we've got the lid that goes on top. That's the jet boil water ready already. Just gonna turn that down. So for the Zero Brewer, we don't want it quite boiling. We want it about 95 degrees or just off the boil. So I'm just gonna now let that sit for a couple of seconds. We've got some specialty grade fresh coffee here from Land and Sea Project. So in our basket, I'm just gonna fill that to the top. All right, once that's full, I'm just gonna give it a tap down on our nice hard surface here, this tree stump. And then we're just gonna, I'm just gonna move it around and distribute it across the surface area so it's nice and evenly packed. We're not gonna apply any pressure to it or tamp it down like you would with the machine. But we're just gonna make sure it's nice and full there to the brim. If you wanted to get more technical and pop it on scales, you'd be looking at 18 grams of coffee. We then simply just lock it into the bottom of the brewer. Take that lid off. And we're gonna sit it on top of our traveling coffee family enamel mugs. All right, we'll just get this jet boil out of the way. So I'll just pop that top off that. Move the gas over. It is nice and hot to touch. That's so good they've got all this extra padding on there and the handle. Now with the Zero, we're just gonna fill it up to the indicated line on the inside, which is 100 mils. Trinity Coffee Zero is as easy as popping the lid on, sitting it on top of your cup, and just pressing with your thumb right in the middle over the hole got the right grind it should take about 13 presses we were lucky to meet with Mark from Trinity Coffee in Brisbane while we were there uh, great guy really passionate and keen on designing new coffee concepts for for the coffee industry and people who like traveling and being out in the bush hiking you know whatever kind of floats your boat when it comes to the outdoors but this brewer is by far the best one that we've used so far out of any of the manual brewers. Uh, we were lucky enough for him to supply us a couple of few months ago to have a play with and we were really impressed. The flavor you get from it, because it uses that 18 grams of coffee, is a lot stronger than say any of the aeropressors and stovetops. And the flavor is a lot stronger also than say a filtered style coffee. Um, it's really versatile. Um, like I said, really simple and easy to use. Um, whether you're adding milk to it or adding some water and drinking as a black coffee, it's really beautiful. It gets all the flavours out of the coffee that, say, an espresso machine would, while still keeping some of those hints of, like, a filtered coffee. And it really gives you that nice, strong intensity and just carries that 
nice kind of smooth um, flavor right through, through the cup. Let's have a quick look there. So this has got one or two presses left to go. That's it. So this time of day, I just love to drink a nice smooth black coffee. So I'm just gonna grab my jet ball and the added water, I'm just gonna tip that remainder in there. So that's just a quick little tutorial video on using the Trinity Coffee Zero. We're super impressed, we highly recommend it. Uh, we do have them coming out for sale as well. You'll be able to buy them direct from us online. The brew is a beautiful coffee. So I'm gonna sit here by this nice river and just enjoy. Thanks for tuning in and watching our video. Make sure you throw us up a comment, a like, um, subscribe to our channel, and follow along for some more tutorial videos. We've got heaps more coming up. Thanks, guys. If you prefer to add milk to your brew, then we recommend the alternative Dairy Co almond milk. Half the time you'd never even know that you're drinking a milk alternative. It's awesome to use. We drink it almost every day. Um, we've used it in the cafes and it's fantastic for your latte art and everything. Get out there and give it a shot.